So this is the 14 December 2018 build of the Superior OS ROM based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today I'm gonna show you how is the ROM, how is everything working over here. So let's just begin. So over here as the stock launcher, we have the launcher launcher, not the quick step launcher here. Do keep that in mind. And as you can see by default, it stays like a dark kind of theme in the launcher launcher. And we have the Google Now cards to the left working fine. And you can just pull down the notification panel like from anywhere on the home screen. If you swipe down, you will get the notification panel or the quick settings panel. So let me just go into the settings of this launcher and show you the launcher settings. And over here, as you can see, it says launcher. So this is the default launcher over here. But one disappointing thing over here is that the gestures. Well, if you select that the double tap action to sleep, the screen will just light up in black, but it doesn't turn off. So do keep that in mind. If you select sleep or sleep using screen timeout, it will just light up in black. So the screen still stays on. So that's a kind of bug and I don't really like it, but that's how it is over here. And let me show you the stock camera over here on this ROM. Well, the Mi A2's camera is present over here as the default camera over here. And regarding the camera to API, well, you won't get the camera to API toggle in this ROM, but camera to API is present by default. Let me show you. And as you can see over here, we have the camera to API like stuff. You can see it's green, everything is green. So camera to API is present and you can install the Pixel 3 camera APKs if you want to. So that is a cool thing. Let's just remove it from memory. And if you talk about Google Pay, well, Google Pay is working right away after you flash the ROM. So that's a pretty cool thing. As you can see, Google Pay is working fine. So you don't need to worry about Google Pay at all. And now let me just go into the settings first. And let me show you the system. And over here, as you can see, you do not get the camera to API toggle. Let me just reduce the brightness a little bit. So inside over here, we have updated and it says superior OS. So you can just check for updates from here. As you can see right now says no updates found because this is the latest build. Let me go into the about and Android version. And here we will get the superior OS logo and Android version shows as nine. As you can see, we have the Android Pie like the Easter egg. And here it says Superior OS Destructor Official. So this is the official build of Superior OS. And the security patch over here is of December 5th, 2018. Here is the baseband and stock kernel version if you want to see that. And the build number of course. Let's go back. And over here regarding the bugs, well I did not find a major huge bug. But I have to say I did face some issues after flashing this ROM with Micro G apps of course because I flash all the ROMs with micro G apps. And if you want to flash this ROM, how to flash guide will be linked in the description box below. So don't worry. And by the way, after I flashed the ROM, I faced some issues with the navigation panel. It just went black when I changed something, I guess. So that's a kind of a bug. So all I had to do after that is to like reboot the phone once. And then I see the navigation panel was disabled. So I just enabled the nav bar and it started working fine again. So that's bug number one. And while setting up the phone into my Google account and while entering the pin and stuff, you have to like insert your fingerprint or like set up your fingerprint. So while fingerprint scanner setting up, it, it was a little bit glitchy. So it was going back and it say it was saying that fingerprint scanner not enrolled or something like that. So there was some kind of bug, but the fingerprint scanner right now works just fine. And by the way, I have a FPC fingerprint scanner, not a GoodX one. So I am not sure about GoodX. So as you can see, FPC fingerprint scanner works just fine. So you don't need to worry. That's how it is. And regarding Vaulty and stuff, yes, Vaulty does work. And here we get the Vaulty logo. And let me just place a call and show you guys the in call like UI. So as you can see, it works. And here we do have the Android Pie volume panels and you can put the phone into vibrate and stuff from here and we do get the recording call option so that's pretty cool now let me go into the like the quick settings panel and here is the quick toggles like extra quick toggles we have the gaming mode heads up and a lot of options present over here and this is how it looks like and night light is working fine as you can see let's go into the settings and inside superior settings we have all the customizations and inside status bar 
we have the status bar items here we'll get the headset bluetooth etc icon stuff clock settings we can like change the clock fonts over here so that is pretty cool i have changed the clock fonts and even you can change the lock screen stuff and here as you can see from the screen the lock screen fonts too you can change and it looks pretty cool i'll show you how much customizations you have later on and let's let me just show you the clock fonts and here are the fonts so as you can see we have a bunch of options over here samsung pretty cool so let's go back and you can change the clock font size too as you can see the font size is pretty big now but i'll leave it like this for the moment and we have the battery style too and you can change it to dotted circle portrait etc and you can change the battery percentage position too if you want to let's just go back we have traffic indicators if you want to use them and see the network speed you can do that let's go back we have the 4g icon instead of lte that's pretty cool and here we have the volte icon toggle and volte icon works fine Oh, we had the brightness control. I don't know why I did not see it previously, but yeah, it's present over here. And as you can see, it just works fine. Let's go back and inside quick settings, we have the opacity control too. And we have the quick pull down and you can change the quick setting header style too. Let me change it to accent best. So as you can see, the header turned blue. So you have a lot of customizations over here like this and you even have the quick pull down and brightness slider over option over here and you can change the quick setting tile styles let me change it to maybe ninja so as you can see it changes so it looks pretty cool you can change like any of these options so that's pretty cool feature let's go inside buttons we have the enable backlight option and i don't know why it's there because the redmi note 5 pro does not simply have a hardware button so that's how it is let's go into, into navigation bar and here you can enable the navigation bar and inside nav bar you can customize it if you want to and what else we have gestures feature and inside aosp gestures we have the swipe up home button and if you enable the toggle it will just like enable the android pie stuff it's enabled by default you don't need to worry if you swipe up just like this it will get you the recent panel and if you swipe all the way up it, it will get you the app drawer of course and you can enable this and use the double tap gesture like double tap to sleep on the navigation bar too if you want to use the full screen gesture mode and we have the screen off power button torch too like toggle torch it's present over here and it works just fine and we have the i think one plus navigation gestures i guess and it does work fine you can just swipe up like this to go back and it's it's disabled right now so it's not working right now and it works i checked it and inside lock screen we have the clock font style and as you can see we have a lot of font style for the clock and you can change these fonts like however you want and i like this retro kind of look over here so i think it's pretty cool feature let's go back we have the date font style too and you can change however you want to again and we have a lot of fonts option present over here and you can change the whole ui font i have changed it to google sans but you can change all of them from display settings which i'll show you later on after i finish the customization stuff so inside lock screen customization we have the face auto unlock option too and i'll set it up and check it in a moment and we have the celsius temperature stuff and you can change it to fahrenheit too if you want that you have the lock screen media cover art and lock screen visualizer option let's go back inside power menu we have the advanced reboot option and you can change it to advanced reboot inside lock screen too and as you can see it's present over here you can directly boot into recovery and fast boot stuff so let's go back inside recent so you can change the recent style to pi or audio so if you are still used to the audio kind of recent apps panel you can have that and let's go back inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option and what else we have the battery charging light which is the notification LED customization we have the vibrate on connect so in call vibration stuff is present over here and we even have the blink flashlight on call in ringer mode so it, you can change it however you want to so let's go back inside misc we have the screenshot type changing option and swipe to take a screenshot is present over here and what else we have the music control and pocket detection mode is there and let me show you the display settings quickly and over here we have the night light and stuff and double tap to wake is present over here too and inside 
where did it go all right so font manager over here and as you can see you have the like how does the font look option over here and as you can see we have a lot of fonts to choose from so there you have it a lot of fonts you can change however you want <laughs> let me change it to this one i don't know which one i selected so this is the samsung regular font i guess so it looks pretty cool maybe if you are coming from a samsung phone this will really help you and we have the system theme option you can change it to light dark and black and accent colors we have a lot of accent color options and you can choose like however you want let me choose it to red so as you can see the accent color became red so this is pretty cool we have a lot of customizations let's go into security now and let me just check the face unlock quickly so we have the trusted face option over here and this is there because i flashed micro g apps by the way well if you are flashing any rom do keep in mind to flash micro g apps unless it's pixel experience because pixel experience does include the g apps so I just did set up face unlock so let me just try it quickly. So as you can see it unlocks. So this is not too late. It's pretty fast in my opinion. So let's just unlock it like this. So as you can see it's pretty fast. So in terms of daily driving performance, in my opinion this ROM is pretty smooth. I do not have any complaints regarding the daily driving performance at all. Everything feels super snappy over here. And let me quickly open some of the apps over here and show you guys the app open up speeds and the animations and the RAM management as well. Let's open Chrome, File Explorer, Facebook. Twitter, Play Store, YouTube. So as you can see the app open ups are pretty fast. And let's open the apps all over again from memory. And as you can see all the apps are in memory so you don't need to worry at all regarding the memory management at all I guess and even I played PUBG and gaming performance is super fine in this ROM you don't need to worry. And the battery life too over here is pretty decent. So as you can see all the apps are in memory so you can just switch between apps just like this with the Android Pie recent like swiping feature so it, this is pretty fast. So in my opinion this is a pretty great ROM if you want to switch to it you can definitely do it. Again, how to flash this ROM will be linked in the description box below. So don't worry. So that is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one.